Oh, this looks phenomenal. <laughs> yes, yes. What do we have here, Chef? We have some Trini style meatballs, some sudden bites, which is a fusion of Creole and Caribbean. And then we have our fish cakes, which is Accra. It all sounds nice. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, I lost, I forgot yeah. everything, but I'm just gonna thank try it all yeah. <laughs> for sure. Thank you, dig in. I, I love this because for our people, so many of the great conversations are over food and fellowship. We got food from, from all over the world. We took our greatest and best black historical sports figures, and we all had them at a meal like this. Who would you bring to the table? Who's the, who's the person you would nominate? I think it would be Arthur Ashe. Ooh, I like that. You know, he's a Wimbledon champion, a US Open champion, but Arthur had to exist in so many white spaces. I mean, it's the world of tennis. Hmm. He had a different approach in the way that he moved in the world and tried to affect change. Arthur Ashe would be, uh, would be the one I would have at this dinner. That's solid. May I? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you don't, I will. I think for myself, it'd be Flojo. Um, oh, yes. I think on the female side, we don't get enough recognition in terms of sports and Facts. athletics, especially as a strong black woman. I would love to have her at the table. Flojo in her prime, you were like minus five years old yeah. at the time. Right, right. So, uh, <laughs> was it 1049 and 88? Still, most men can't run. <laughs> like, Say that louder. Still, <laughs> most men can't run. For real. <laughs> Who you got? Cassius Marcellus Clay. Okay, okay. The well, man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it gave Muhammad Ali, for those who don't know. Me, when I look at, you know, the measure of a man or a woman, people are measured by character, but it's way beyond what they just do. And to me, I don't know how many other people impacted the magnitude or the amount of people that he had beyond, you know, the, the sport of boxing. Hey, is there a prompter in here? Did you read? <laughs> <laughs> there's no ums, there's no ahs. Like, hey, you like, spoke from the heart. I am, I'm, I'm tearing up over here. I actually came with two, because I was afraid that one of you would teeth one of mine, and I didn't want to have <laughs> nothing to say. I'll start with William Russell. Bill Russell, right? All them rings and things you sing about, mm -hmm. bring them out. Bring like, them out. And, but also one at every level, but at secondary to what he did from a civil rights standpoint, whether it was on the road, oh, for real? Like, we can't all eat as a team? You know, we stand on the on the shoulders of giants, so we have, our experiences aren't as severe as theirs. In order to like stand up, you're risking your career, ultimately your life, because you don't know what's gonna happen afterwards. We well, talk about mental toughness as athletes too. I mean, it's mentally tough to just play your sport and right. to have that on top of it. I can't even imagine the, the place you'd have to go to to be able to focus on the task. And play cool. well. Well, that's the thing. How great they would be if they could have just played free. Bill Russell, man, look, you would have had another 20 sets of rings. You two use sport as a way to, to get away, right, to escape. Imagine if you're in an era where you're reminded of all of the negative things you have to deal with in your everyday life. To me, can't give them their flowers and their love enough.